Uh, indeed, very, very relevant as well. Now we're going to be talking about uh, disabilities and our attitudes towards person with, persons with disabilities. As we all know, disability is not inability. And I have with me in studio two beautiful women who have been trying to spread the word and hopefully we can get a thing or two um, today. Uh, in the studios this morning, Kim Oliver and Olajumoke Abdullahi, who yeah, are... Good morning. good morning. How are you? We are well, good. Yes. Wonderful. We're all the better for being here with you. You're what? We all, we're better for being here with you. Oh, oh. oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome to TV3 New Day. Thank now, you, um, you uh, champion uh, Triple Cripple, yeah. which uh, is a platform for lecturing and spreading the word on uh, creating awareness about relations with uh, persons with disabilities. If yes. you can highlight more on that, would it be Kim or would it be Jumoke? Oh, we can both do it. Yeah, we so, can both okay. do it. Yeah, uh, we fine. created Triple Cripples to create, as you said, a platform for people, not only with disabilities, for people without disabilities, yeah. to understand the way in which our lives are reflected in the world. So okay. we're both women, we're both black, we're both disabled, disabled. Yeah. and we're that at the same time all the time. Mm. And so what does that look like? A lot of people don't have a point of reference. They don't understand how to interact with or treat people the mm. minute they have a disability. And we were like, well, no, we're just people. Exactly. Um, but there was no representation. Mm. Um, there was no one we could point to and say, okay, yeah, this is a good example of you understanding what it's like to live life in my shoes. Okay. And so we decided to create it. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we created Triple Cripple specifically for black and uh, people of color with disabilities okay. because the media is such a powerful tool and usually mm -hmm. whenever you think of disability, it's usually a white and usually male face. Mm. So yeah. without a reference point for people that look like you and have gone through life the way that you do are like this isn't good enough because representation is so important you can't yeah. be what you can't see so we're like okay if it's not there and as typical black women fashion let me do it myself so, yes. exactly yes. okay so you Kim, you've lived um, on the other side and yeah I mean you've you've lived without disability yes. before and you've lived with it let's contrast it since you are from the UK can mm. we you know see how um, life was like before and how it was like after you referenced that earlier in your in your speech so so can we take a look at yeah, the difference? Yeah, I think disability changes everything because mm. it's something that cuts across everything, mm. whether education, employment, yeah. healthcare, um, social life. So when I became disabled, my mm. world changed dramatically. Mm. My social circle got very small, where mm. I could access became small. Yeah. The way I was treated by healthcare providers changed. Oh, even healthcare treated. providers? Yes. And she noticed it in the micro and the macro. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So not just um, interpersonally when I was speaking to them because I was sitting in a wheelchair, they could yeah. no longer hear me. They thought perhaps mm. I didn't have the intellect to articulate myself. And perhaps wow. when I was there, instead of talking to me, people will talk to other people people or just ignore you or not listen right. to you. But also structurally, there weren't enough provisions in place for people with disabilities. And we're talking okay. even in the UK. Yeah. Mm. Now, if we're contrasting it with somewhere like Ghana, I'm Ghanaian, right? So, yeah. you know, when we're here, we say, oh, you know, but look at those places in the West. Well, they were only able to build their structures because they pillaged this place mm. for hundreds of years. You know, they've taken all their wealth yeah. out of Africa and created systems. So yes, when I'm in the UK, I can get a wheelchair and yes, right. I can get some crutches, but that's because they have the provisions constantly coming from here to do so. Yes. Okay. And so there's a mandate for us to kind of create systems of our own to yeah. kind of look after the most vulnerable because if you're looking after them, then everyone is looked after. Yeah. 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 Okay. And you wanted to add to No, that? I was just agreeing. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We always I'd, agree. I'd, yeah. like to, <laughs> I'd like to know how that, um, you know, this has also affected your life. Before we even get on with the, you know, program for which you're actually here mm. in Ghana, I'd like to know how that has affected your, you know, your daily lifestyle as well with um, uh, speaking to uh, Jumoke. Yeah. You know, in terms of your love life and all of that, how, yeah. how yes, yes. In, in human Should relations, how has that affected that? Is yes. it difficult in um, any way? Well, uh, unlike him, I uh, contracted polio uh, when I was in Nigeria before my very first birthday. So oh. disability is all that I've known. But in terms of uh, love life, I do what I can. <laughs> Kristen, yeah. I do what I can. But mm -hmm. we, and this is something we've talked about recently on the BBC, is the fact that when you are disabled, people expect you to just accept and be grateful yes. mm. for whatever they're coming to you with. Mm. And let's be very honest, we're beautiful baby girls. Yes, you cannot just bring me 
be anything. You <laughs> can't. Two fine girls. Two yeah. fine girls. But because we're yeah. disabled, people feel that they can just approach us anyhow. Yeah. And yeah. this is something that we also discuss on our YouTube, YouTube channel on okay. the Triple Cripples, saying okay. that you can have unwavering standards. Mm -hmm. Somebody's ideas of you, mm -hmm. that should not concern you. Yeah. You know, Indeed. that is their own yeah. issue. But we also have to look at the society in which we're in because yeah. that will affect how you yeah. feel, feel about yourself. And Indeed. often people think that disability is a character flaw yes. and it's not. It's just an environmental mm. or genetic lottery. Yeah. You can become disabled at any time yes. in your life. Mm. Like lots of women when they give birth end up becoming disabled yes, exactly. through birth, childbirth. So it's just a question of recognizing that it's just another human experience, yes. right? We're all humans, we're all people. Yeah. I just have, you have a smaller feet than I do. <laughs> I might have a disability. It's just another thing. And so yeah. it's not a character flaw. Indeed. It doesn't make someone less than. Mm. And it doesn't make them a bad person. It, it, that makes a lot of sense yeah. as well. We are all humans. Um, what What are your, okay, if I can get one each, your worst experience? Yeah. Yeah? yeah, yeah Dealing yeah. with humans, maybe? <laughs> um, I don't know about worst, but... Uh, something that always crops up for me is whenever people meet me and um, approach me is because um, they just ask me, it's like, oh, so what's wrong with you? Mm. There's no need for courtesy. There's no mm. need for decency. It's just like, let me get yeah. straight to this very personal oh, question. Wow. And the way that they're um, yeah. asking it is really, mm, it's mm -hmm. not okay. Yeah. Lack of home training. It is. Yeah, that's it is. exactly what it is. Lack of home yes, training. You need to be more polite about it. Mm. Right. Okay. So can we talk a bit about the project now? Yes, yes. yes. Um, the main reason why we're, um, you know, in Ghana for the Year of Return. Mm. What is this campaign all about? Well, the Year of Return, it's a fantastic time, right? Everyone yes. from the diaspora is supposed to be coming back. Mm -hmm. um, but what we ask, the question we ask is, is Ghana a place for all of the diaspora to be welcome to come back to? Mm. Or is it only certain members of the, the diaspora? And also, if we're inviting people back, what about the people that are already we're here, here exactly. that don't experience equity in yes. their life? Yes. That when they're out, they're not treated as equal citizens mm. and as having contributions to make the, to the society, yeah. or not having provisions made for them, or just being ignored completely. Yeah. So I think it's important, although we're saying, yes, invite the diaspora, which <laughs> members are we saying are welcome? And are we yeah. even welcome in our own homes? You know. Yeah. Are we welcome here? And so it's about we're here to kind of highlight those issues, but also to say we need to put structures in, in place. place. Yes, Indeed. it's people will say, okay, you know, but we've got a ramp here. Fantastic. But when I come in, are you staring at me? Are you uncomfortable yes. with me? Do you think mm. I need deliverance? Do you think it's because I'm possessed and I'm going to infect you, so you don't want to come near me? Sometimes those it's about giving you help as well. Can some, you? Some, mm -hmm. Well, sometimes it is, but talk to me. Okay. Yeah. Don't presume. Okay. Yeah. Don't there's, ignore. Yeah. Mm. Talk to me. The All same right. way you talk to anyone else. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of presumption that comes, you know, when somebody has a disability. It's just yeah. kind of like, I'll know what's better for you. Oh. Even though, like, even somebody sometimes trying to maneuver, you know, Kim's chair, it's like, oh, yeah, I yeah, know, I've got it. It's like, uh, yeah. the best person to ask is the person that's always that's in the wheelchair, true, you know? True. And um, definitely one thing that we wanted to highlight while we're here is that it's all well and good, me as an individual, trying to yeah. do what I I can yeah. for this one specific disabled person. However, the responsibility and the onus must always be upon the government yeah. because mm. this is where true change can Comes. come about. Yeah. You know, we have to start yeah. from the infrastructure mm. yeah. and then we can work on the attitudes as well because yeah. it's all well and good. You're saying, oh, Akwaba, but does it go past your lips? Yeah. Does it go past your eyes? Does it go into your heart? Am yeah. I actually welcomed? Or yeah. are you just saying that because you're saying that? Mm. Yeah. yeah, That's deep. Yeah. So it's all about equal relations with uh, humans and understanding that you are also uh, mm. people. Yes, yes. feelings. Right. Yes, and our existence is valid. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so uh, what what should we we be looking out for in the near future? Do you have anything planned for December? Well, we're hoping to do um, a forum. We're hoping to do some speaking. We are doing okay. some speaking actually this evening after okay. this and. We're hoping to carry what we do back home over here because yes. I think it's necessary reaching out to people from mm -hmm. different organizations, mm -hmm. disabled people who have their own things and want to talk to us. I think back home we do talks, we do lectures, we do training for businesses and for, mm -hmm. you know, for parts of the, yeah. the government as well. And yeah. so we want to be able to transfer those things here because, mm -hmm. hey, we are disabled we've got skills like it's exactly, not to do yes. with being disabled where you don't have a skill or whatever yeah, but yeah. we also have a wealth of experience between us and 
we're hoping to use our voices to amplify the voices of people here who are already doing the work, like Afi Antonio, yeah. like Farida Bedway, like mm -hmm. those are people mm -hmm. who are here mm -hmm. doing things. And so if we're coming and we're coming with some abruture, I'd say, like, <laughs> let's use it to Come uh, right the voices. Yeah. 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 Make a change I mean? as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right. So let's get at, um, your social media handles. You say you are crip tri cripple, oh, triple, triple cripples. We are, yes. So we are mm. the triple cripples and we are, you can find us on Twitter and on Instagram yeah. as okay. triple cripples. So that's okay. T-R-I-P-L-E. C R I P P L E S. Yes. The baby can spell. <laughs> and on Facebook and on our YouTube channel, we are the Triple Cripples. Yeah, and we certainly would love for people to, to reach, reach out. out to exactly. us. Exactly. Please yeah. do reach out to us. We want to yeah. hear about your experiences. Talk yeah. to us whether you're a disabled person yourself, yeah. whether you have these organizations. This is why we are here. Yes. We know the work is being done yeah. and we just want people to listen to you. And we want to use our platform in any way that we can mm. to help you because it's all well and good for us to be able to do this back in the UK and whatever but they took our stuff yeah mm -hmm. and they took us too and we want to come back and we want to make it better here yeah. for okay. us wonderful so yeah. triple cripple it is thank you so much for joining us I think and I'm you. wishing you the very best as well yeah. it's thank good you. to thank have you had so you know the education as well so some people out there would also know that yeah we are all humans we are all we people are. and we can do uh, what we are supposed to do it's not a character flaw at all no. so thank you so much Kim Oliver and Olajumoke Abdullah thank you so much Crystal. <laughs> new day